Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, ladies and gentlemen, I have some information to bring to your attention. Now, while I bring that information to your attention, I also have to make you aware of something. So the first thing is we are for the organizations of the Amera Legion looking for individuals who would like to help work with that group. I'll explain certain things about that group now, but if you are interested, you will have to send your email to admin at Amera Legion and they will take a look at your request and get back with you. You must wait for them to get back. Do not continue to harass. So admin at AmeriLegion.com and we will be in touch. That's the first thing. And then I will put out a video letting you know that, hey, sorry, but everything has been filled. AmeriLegion. Let's explain what AmeriLegion is, what it does, how it does, when it does. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a known fact that you are all trustees, but you are what's known as a trustee absolute. What is a trustee absolute? Well, to be honest with you, I haven't heard of the phrase legal terminology, legalese term, trustee absolute, in almost 30 years. I mean, it was a word that I heard way back in the 90s, early 90s. And I was listening to an audio of someone. Somebody said, hey, you need to listen to this. And so I listened to it, and the guy talked about an absolute trustee. Well, it rang a bell. Absolute trustee. Well, you're not going to find the phrase trustee absolute or absolute trustee anywhere. So where do they get it from? Well, when you look up trustee absolute or absolute trustee, you'll get the definition of trustee saying that a trustee that has the absolute authority, blah, 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 and, and they go ahead and explain it. That's where the term trustee absolute comes from because he has absolute authority or absolute trustee because it's the trustee that is the chief trustee, the head trustee, the main trustee, because there can be more than one trustee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, most people don't know what a SESTA-K is. Do you know what a SESTA-K is? Yes, I know exactly what a SESTA-K is. A SESTA-K is you. Say what? A SESTA-K is you. I thought a SESTA-K was it. No, no, no. It's called a SESTA-K trust. A trust made for the SESTA-K. You are the SESTA-K. You're not the SESTA-K V. That's not you. The SESTA-K V is an act. It's the government of England. But you are the SESTA-K. Referencing the SESTA-K trust created by Congress. Okay, the government created the trust for which you are the trustee of. But they created a larger trust, and then they incorporated smaller trusts within that trust. Each one of you are the smaller trust within the trust. You don't believe me? Do the research. It's right there looking at you, staring at you in the face. Well, what are the assets of the trust? The people turned in their gold. So it is all the property of all of the people and their homes. Because remember, the money shall be worth a hundred cents on the dollar because it will represent a mortgage on all the homes of all the people and the property of all the people of the nation, in the nation, okay? So, now that you know that you're the trustee absolute, you have to start letting them know that. You have to start expressing the trust. It's an express trust! You have to start expressing the trust. Many people haven't been doing that, which is why you end up looking stupid in court. I thought I was the beneficiary! Well, you are the beneficiary of your trust. You're the trustee and the beneficiary. So you're there to protect your own interests. Say what? That's right. You are there to protect your own interests. But because you haven't stepped up to the plate. All right, that's a hoax. Anyway, because you haven't stepped up, other people have been standing in for you. Abusing your interests. Why? Because you have not stepped I've been taking my time doing all of this because I, look, I promised you all last year, 
I said, hey, you help me out. I will devote my time in giving you information unlike any information I've given. And I promise you, go back and see, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Hey, if I saved one person's home, if I saved one person from prison, I mean jail, then didn't I do something? But I didn't just do that. I went ahead and I helped out everybody that I could. All of the people who contacted SACOM, they all received, without having paid for anything, credits. We still have more to give, but this is only for the Departed Homeless of America, and we will talk to you guys about that in a minute. But let's finish talking about Amer Legion. The law says that, ladies and gentlemen, if somebody owes you a debt, you have a right to collect that debt. But if you can't collect that debt, then you have the right to forgive that debt and to write it off. And if you write that debt off, then it becomes a taxable credit or a credit to your account because you're helping out the United States government. You're helping to balance the books, get rid of that public debt. I know some of y'all are catching up. It's about time. So because you're helping to balance the book, get rid of the public debt, guess what government says? Oh, where you going? Uh-uh. No, get back over here. We got something for you. No, they ain't not got no handcuffs. We got something beneficial for you. Yeah, you are benefiting from this. Yeah, we appreciate you looking out for us and everything. Thank you very much. You didn't have to because normal people, they wouldn't do something like that. You see, it tells you in 453, normal people pay cash. They're not trying to help the government. Whereas the abnormal people, the ones who are trying to help out, they're trying to keep the economy afoot and afloat. And so government says, thank you. And here, we're going to give you these credits right here. You can use them the same as cash. Say what? You can use them the same as cash. They're accepted everywhere. Everywhere? Wait a minute. They're accepted everywhere. You know what I could do? I could create a bond and I could use my credits to back the bond. All I got to do is put the language inside the bond saying that that's what the credits are for. Oh, snap. And then I could use that to pay. Ooh, I got to do some research. And that's exactly what y'all have to do because I ain't going to tell you. See, I'm not here to help you get over. Trying to get over. Trying to get over. Ah, ah, ah. Super fly. See, I'm not here to do that for you. Okay? What I am here to do is to help those people who need help. Not the people who want, 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 want until there is no more need. Okay, I ain't got time for those people because I'm not here for them. I'm here for the young lady who lived in, I don't remember the state, I believe it may have been Illinois, who when the police came to her house, Bank of America said, hey, you owe us, you didn't pay us, we're foreclosing on your property, and they foreclosed on her property and had the sheriff come to the door to evict her. The sheriff knocks on the door, and the woman opens the door, tells the police, you'll be right back, closed the door, and she killed herself. Why? Because she had paid off her mortgage. That was her property. I don't think anybody should ever get to that point where you should kill yourself over some material stuff. But I've been talking about it ever since it happened. I saw that, I believe, right about 2018. I'm here for those people. Look, a lot of you are stressing. A lot of you are in dire straits, but many of you are coming to me at the last minute. I had a gentleman who had a hearing yesterday, and I had a conversation with him telling him what to do. He had a satisfaction of mortgage on his property. Let me do you all a favor before we finish talking about Legion, because this is what Legion is here to do. It's here to help you with things like this. Ladies and gentlemen, go down to your county recorder's office. Go down and tell them you want to see the entire record for your property and you want to make sure you say the entire and complete record for my property that includes any and all documents that are being stored in other locations in this building inside other books i want the complete record for the property i want any and all satisfactions of mortgage ladies and gentlemen 
The law requires them to do a satisfaction of mortgage when they get paid. So go and look at 12 U.S.C. 412 and see that the banks receive payment because they supply the banks with a note and an application supplied by the homeowner. So they get paid. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. Go to UCC, Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, Section 102. These are the definitions, commercial law definitions. These are generally, it has been accepted by every state of the union as the definition. Go to number 65. It says promissory note. Ladies and gentlemen, it says a promissory note is one that does not evidence a promise to pay. Wait, hold on. So a promissory note is a, a note, an instrument that evidences a promise to pay, and it says, and does not have a pay order associated with it. So what? So at SACOM, we're getting ready to start helping individuals who have previously received their note that said pay to the order. It doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen, if it said pay to the order of someone else, some another bank. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, we did that because we transferred it. Nope, sorry, don't care. Don't care. We're going to be helping those individuals. We're going to be doing the paperwork for you. We're going to be processing the paperwork. We're going to be following the paperwork. There's so much stuff that I'd like to tell you that you all should know, especially this thing about power of attorney. I can tell you why an attorney doesn't have to show power of attorney. However, I can show you and tell you how to make that mother show power of attorney. I can tell you how you can go into court and represent your mama, your sister, your niece, your uncle, your cousin, and your brother without arguing that you don't need no license to practice law. I can show you how to do that. I can show you how to walk into that court because this stuff is so easy. Use their own rules. They have rules and principles that they've been relying on and most people have forgotten about these rules and principles but getting back to Amerilegion we're looking for at least four more people to help with that organization now ladies and gentlemen a lot of people think coming over to SACOM and one of the organizations I put together <laughs> that they're gonna be getting a hundred billion dollars in their pocket immediately it doesn't work like that. The organization provides $50,000 in tax credits to each member as they come in. The senior members receive $75,000 in credits. However, we give extra tasks for individuals so that, on average, the members who are present now with SACOM will be receiving a little over $200,000 in credits. Well, they've been doing a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen, even though it doesn't appear to y'all like it, they have been doing a lot of work. And so they're going to be receiving the benefits of that. Plus, they're also helping with other tasks. So, But they're learning at the same time. Many of the things they're doing, they never did before. But what I can tell you is this, because what I have noticed is that in doing these videos, many of you guys have not gotten this, so I'm going to show it to you. You mind? <sighs> R&D tax credit claim. Well, we're not concerned about the R&D tax credit claim. We're going to make this bigger so y'all can see it. Because I don't want nobody claiming, you know, I had them catamaracs and I couldn't see nothing on your screen. Can you can you do something about that? Be like, yeah. Close your eyes the next time and go to somebody else's channel. Oh, okay. All right. So you're going to be like that, huh? You better believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's find out what a tax credit is. A tax credit is an incentive which allows certain taxpayers to subtract the amount of credit that they have accrued. The accrual method accrued from the total that they owe to the state or the federal government. It may also be a credit. Granted in recognition. Say what? Tax credit, man. Didn't y'all remember a time when y'all were looking up tax credit and y'all couldn't find nothing? Well, I'm using a VPN. And my VPN is out of Britain. Out of England. So I have noticed over the last week, when I look something up now through the VPN, I get what I'm looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to be doing research, get a VPN.
okay? Now, here's the thing. The tax credit has two purposes. What? Firstly, to it acts as an impetus to motivate the citizens to take up measures of economic significance and contribute to society. I told y'all y'all need to be contributing to society. Did y'all hear me? Hold on, let's continue. The tax credits are called refundable. These tax credits are called refundable because they involve cash payments from the IRS if they put the taxpayer liability to zero. Ladies and gentlemen, you mean you can use your tax credits to get some monies? I didn't say it. You saw it right here. Do your research, people. But some people are greedy. They want it now. They don't want to do no research. Look, the tax credits was given to the majority of the people sight unseen. On the strength, without them having to do anything, it was an addition, an addendum. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not my job or SACOM's job to explain to you how to use the tax credits. We never said we were going to do that. You didn't pay us for that. We never promised you that we will provide such a service. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, but however, you have videos like this one that's pointing you in the right direction. Okay, now, wait, I want y'all to pay attention. You can assign an, let's, get, let's forget about investment, tax credit to an asset in a tax book only if you allow the, pay attention, investment tax credit, investment tax credit for that tax book and category. See, it says you get to do your own accounting. You just got to include it in your accounting, not assignment. Say what? Pay attention, people. You can assign your tax credits. Say what? See, this is where you guys got to talk to CPAs. You have the tax credits. You don't have to ask them for permission to have the tax credits. Just say, I need to know how I can get a refund. Say what? Eon, are you sure? Really? You just got to read the screen. This is not me saying this. I didn't write this stuff. Hey, you know, people also ask, what are tax credits? What is a tax credit? Let's find out what is a tax credit. What is a tax credit? The value of a tax credit depends on the nature of the credit. Certain types of tax credits are granted to individuals or businesses in specific locations, not the credits I got. Classifications are industries, not the credits I got. Now, unlike deductions and exceptions, which reduce the amount of taxable income, tax credits reduce the amount of the tax owed. Uh-oh, snap. That's Investomapedia, definition of a tax credit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the first definition because you didn't hear nobody else talking about tax credits along this line until you heard it from me. I'm not the inventor of tax credits, but as I told you, since 1984, when I first heard that Donald Trump was a billionaire, I think I saw him on... Um, well, I did see him on it, but I don't remember if it was 83 or 84, but it was when he first was announcing to everybody he was a billionaire, and that was Donald Trump. And I didn't like Donald Trump. I saw his pompous ignorance back then, and I haven't liked him since. So when you guys are doing all this politics and stuff, it isn't with me. When I talk about the man, I'm not talking about the man. I'm talking about his business sense. No, he doesn't have a good business sense. He hired other people to make the decisions for him. Why do you think they're going after those people who were helping him? They're trying to make him a pariah and they're trying to make him toxic so that nobody would want to work with him. Okay? It ain't working, but they're trying. So let's talk about what are tax credits. What are tax credits? Well, tax credits are government payouts that give extra money to people who need it. Ooh, wait, I need it. Come on now. Including those who need help to care for children. I don't, I know I don't have them. You know, they grown, so don't have them. Uh, and those who are disabled workers 
Whoo! You better believe I'm a worker that that don't like them no ables and people with low incomes. I don't have an income, Your Honor. No, I don't know. I don't engage in commercialism when it comes to work. No, my wages? Oh no, them are my wages, honey. No, them are mine. No, you you better stay out of my business. Them are my wages. Caesar ain't got nothing to do with my labor. See, that's my labor. I ain't been no slave to nobody yet. Look, don't don't get me started. Okay, everyone. Let's continue. There are two types of tax credits. Child tax credits and working tax credits. That is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. There's also the tax credits that is received as a result of discharging of a debt, forgiveness of a debt. Oh, snap. Oh, look at that. This is the UK. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you go back over the videos that I've done before, talking about tax credits and pointing out to you guys what a tax credit is. Woo-wee. Now, what are credits in asset type of accounts? Ladies and gentlemen, what you all need to understand is your credits are an asset. That's why you can use it to back up your instruments. You can use it as a collateral security. But you didn't hear it from me. Do your research. So many of you guys are so frustrated thinking that somebody left you out in the lurch. Nobody has left you in a lurch. Again, I never said that I was going to walk y'all through the whole process. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all helped me last year, and I really appreciated it. But I gave you what I promised I was going to give you. I never promised you I was going to give you this, but I'm giving you what I gave you. You see, I got people calling me up, asking me questions about the hour style money orders. If only they knew the genius behind the hour style money orders. I told you I did it because I knew I could. I didn't ask nobody for permission. I just did it. Then I come to find out later that Patrick Devine had his money order and that other people had done money orders previously. Well, see, the problem is my research, not theirs, my research had me deduce because I asked the question. Checks have to be backed by funds in an account. I know the definition of a check, okay? It's an instrument that's backed by funds in an account. I got a check. I know what a check is. So I had to figure out how to create an instrument such as A for V, because that's all A for V is, and do it in such a way to where it could not be scrutinized because there were no regulations for it. So I searched and searched and I looked at all the different types of instruments out there and finally I looked up money orders. Did the research finding out how the post office was the first ones to do money orders? Wait a minute, Lord have mercy. Post office was the first? That means there are no regulations. They just did it. Nobody told them they could do it. They just did it. And thus, grandfather. Thus, ex post facto, state of away foe. Okay? That's how I did what I did. I hope that makes sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, it can't make dollars. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Amira Legion, all they're doing is documenting that you never owed the debt, that you paid the debt. That's why they send a promissory note. That's right. So you have paid whatever debt that other company says you owe, but you're now saying, wait a minute, I didn't already paid y'all before. And y'all were saying I owed y'all when I already gave y'all what y'all was supposed to get. And now y'all owe me. So y'all got 30 days. In the midst of that, hey, hey, now y'all forgiven. All right, peace out, G. And so if you ever get to go into court, they can't just foreclose on you. Why? Because as long as you put together an accounting, the judge can't just sit up and rely. Now, I told you we're getting ready to start helping people who are pre-foreclosure. But the reason why I am telling y'all this, because first, y'all need to know, the reason why we're getting ready to help people who are pre-foreclosure is because we know that we can bring you to court and get you to understand. Now, for the sake of the current circumstances, 
The individuals who come onto Amera Legion will be assisting with helping those of you who need to document the debt. They will be contacting, well, they'll be doing 1099C, 1099A to cancel the debt. Then they'll be contacting the credit bureaus on your behalf to get that junk eradicated. We'll be putting together the record so if you need to go into court, they can't just come into court with a piece of paper. See, we've been arguing that they've been coming to paper, <laughs> court with a piece of paper that ain't got no signature or no nothing on it. But as I told you all, the law says, and if you want to look it up, look up under case text, look up bankruptcy, the debtor must provide an accounting. You see, it is a fundamental principle that anybody who's claimed to be owing a debt to someone must provide an accounting if there was a promise to pay as to what they've paid. You must do your own reasonable due diligence in keeping a valid accounting. But you didn't know that, so you were losing. Why? Because the other side was bringing forth prima facie evidence and you were just bringing forth your mouth. I don't owe them nothing. They were this and they were that and see, look at this. But ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you and I promise you, I have a way around that they signed a promissory note, promise to pay junk. Guarantee. We're going to put that into effect with SACOM. We were trying to get started in September, but they've been really attacking my computer. Don't worry about it. I'm going to say it again. Don't worry about it. I got this. Don't worry about it. Some people are still out there worried. Leave it alone. It ain't your business. And because of that, it has taken me aback. Then there was an issue of trying to <laughs> delete all of my files. Ladies and gentlemen, they didn't delete all of them. I, look, I back up everything. I learned that lesson a long time ago. So we're on our way. All right. Finally. It has happened to me right in front of my face, and I just cannot hide it. There is a video that I just did talking about if you file the correct and right petitions, you can file it with the government and not have to pay any filing fees. Well, that video has some documents. Well, what I did is I created a folder under a legal understanding called Remonstrance. And this zip file is there. That video talks about the young ladies who are going around trying to do a campaign on remonstrances, and I am asking you to help them. Now, I'm not doing a protest. They're not doing a protest in the form of trying to protest for a group. You go listen to the video. When you file this, this will be you filing it, not someone else. But they have filed it in... 26 states and all three branches of government. What they are needing is to have it filed in the remainder. Uh, how many states Barack Obama said it was? 54? So the remainder of the 54 states. You know what I'm saying? And so if you want to help, the information is underneath the video. The links and the link to the documents. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in less than 30 minutes, you got all of that. Hey, I got to go. I really do hope you all understand the reason why I was so tamed this video is because I am tired. I'm getting ready to go lay down, 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 down. Because that other video I've been trying to put up for the last four, four days. Don't worry about it. All right, this one going up now. Y'all take care, and I'll speak to y'all. Arriva.